The People versus the Strongman, Day 8. In the air, Alexander Lukashenko arriving at a tractor factory. On the ground, the protesters he wanted to avoid, demanding he step down. But he miscalculated if he thought the workers inside, once part of his traditional base, were going to give him a free pass. You've always supported the president, he told them, but they contradicted him, shouting no, no. When he finished speaking, he said they could carry on shouting, and they did. He left the stage to chance of resign. It's increasingly difficult to see how he can avoid it without a lifeline from Russian President Vladimir Putin or a return to the force he employed so brutally last week, arresting thousands of those who accused him of stealing their election. Many say they were beaten and tortured. Maria Kolesnikova is one of the few opposition figures not jailed. Thank you for not being afraid, she's saying to the crowd. We're not the little people, we're the nation. Today, another opposition leader, Svetlana Tikhanovskaya, who fled to Lithuania, called on Belarusian security forces to stand down. If you decide not to carry out your illegal orders and switch to the side of the people, she said, they will forgive you. The European Union has called a virtual meeting for Wednesday to discuss potential sanctions against the government. On the street, the protesters seem to be adding to their numbers with each passing day. But Lukashenko, dubbed Europe's last dictator, has clung to power for 26 years. And he hasn't given up yet. Margaret Evans, CBC News, London.